It's going to be a big night in Rip City. The Blazers are back and can take a 2-1 series lead against the Denver Nuggets if they win. Okay, let's switch to our AJ McCord, who has been traveling with the Blazers. She has been busy. She joins us live here at Moda Center. Is it good to be back home, AJ? It is good to be back home and good to be back in a sea of shirts because here in postseason Rip City, there's always shirts on your seats. So this is what tonight's shirt looks like for those who are coming to the game. And I just did a poll on Twitter because in the series against Oklahoma, we saw that the Thunder fans in Chesapeake Arena, almost all of them wore their shirts that they were given at the game here in Portland. Not as many people wear the shirt. So if you're not coming to game or even if you are, I want to know what you think. I put a poll on Twitter. What do you think is somebody's requirement? Like if you're coming to the game, are you required to wear one of these shirts? So let me know what you think there. The game tonight is going to be a great one. Both teams saying they want to come out, play physical, set the tone early. So I'm anticipating a fantastic matchup. Both of these teams superstars had subpar games in game two. Nikola Jokic only had 16 points. Damian Lillard only 14. So, you know, neither of those guys are satisfied with that. So I'm expecting Dame time to be right about tonight at 730 here in Moda. And of course, we'll have courtside chats at 630. I've got some great guests for you, so be sure to tune in for that. But for now, live from the sea of shirts at Moda Center, I'll send it back to you. I'd wear one of those shirts. I would. <laughs> Dan keeps asking for a shirt. There's any extras. I'm just saying. Bring him back one so he <laughs> stops talking about it. And AJ just mentioned her courtside chat. So she really goes in depth with uh, other analysis that she brings on, analysts rather, and she has some experts too before game three. So that's going to be streaming live on coin.com and our Facebook page. And she does that always, usually about an hour before tip if you want to check it out. Okay, so AJ was inside the stadium. We want to check in now on what the atmosphere might be like outside. Yeah, it might be a little bit early, but our Cole <laughs> Miller is live from Moda Center where there's going to be lots of fans there. There in a little bit uh, a little bit from now right Cole Dan Jennifer that's exactly right those rip city flags are flying and the fans they are starting to show up we've got about three hours or so till this game tips off and you can kind of feel the excitement already people got their signs ready their faces painted they're ready to go and we'll pan around and show you a little bit outside of the Moda Center here I got to say I'm really excited I haven't been to a game since the home opener the season opener the regular season opener when they welcomed LeBron James and the Lakers man this place was absolutely electric and I have to imagine it's going to be tenfold tonight as AJ mentioned game three now uh, against the Denver Nuggets and I got to say guys I was actually in Denver a week ago I saw these guys play they're pretty good but I think we can answer it tonight we got that momentum we stole home court and with the fans here at the Moda Center man it's going to be tough to top Denver couldn't buy a basket that game and when you talk about the atmosphere here I hope that translates as well now again three hours or so before tip off but there's plenty to do and if you don't have a ticket that's okay we've got face painting a three-point contest we're gonna have a DJ dance party all kinds of stuff happening down here in the Rose Quarter. So again, if you don't have a ticket to the game, if you're not going to be there watching the Blazers in person, come on down, hang out with your Blazer comrades. It's going to be a good time down here. For now, we'll send it back to you yeah, there in the studio. I'm sure it will be. I mean, between them having fun there, you're about to toss to Natasha here. We're just right. stuck inside. I want Cole to run through the fountain.